Okay, so you're on social media and someone is trying to sell you a product. Perhaps it's a cleanse product or a detox product or a weight loss product or whatever. Now you are educated, you are watching this video, you spend time learning. So you want to find out for yourself if this ingredient works. Now you do your own research and you actually find no supporting evidence for this ingredient. Or perhaps you even find research refuting its use. But your friend is adamant that it works. I've used it, here, here are the before and after photos, my friends have used it, trust me, it works for me, bro. So what's the deal? Now what you need to know is if someone has a positive expectancy from a product, just that is enough to exhibit positive physiological benefit. This is known as the placebo effect. So basically, if someone hopes that something works or thinks that something works, that is enough for them to feel benefit from it. For example, college students have felt benefits from stimulants, even though they're ingesting a placebo. Cyclists have improved performance from ingesting caffeine, except it wasn't caffeine at all. In a dose-response relationship, people that thought they were taking the most caffeine improved their performance the most, except all of them were placebos. In weightlifters, people who thought they were ingesting a strong blend of amino acids increased their performance. And as soon as they were told that it was actually a placebo, their performance then decreased. So even though they had achieved that performance before, when they realized it was due to the placebo effect, their performance actually went down. Now, I know what you're thinking, or what a lot of people are thinking, no, 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 I'm intelligent, I'm educated, I know my body well, I am not susceptible to the placebo effect. Now, this is a very, very naive way of thinking. Everyone could be susceptible to the placebo effect, myself included. This is why there are placebo-controlled trials, to separate therapeutic benefit from a product from the placebo effect. So, for example, in weightlifters, a group of varsity athletes went through a training cycle. Here is their progress. Then they were told that they were taking anabolic steroids. Here is their progress. Of course, they were not taking anabolic steroids at all. That is solely due to the placebo effect. And if you are one of those people that thinks, no, 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 I'm an advanced level person, I'm not susceptible to this. In national level weightlifters who were told that they were taking a fast acting steroid, here is how much they increased their main three lifts. Now that is up to a 15 kilogram increase. They took this placebo five minutes before training and they were told it was an immediate acting steroid. A 15 kilo increase immediately because they thought they were taking steroids in national level weightlifters. Now to further this, this trial, they decided to tell half of them that they were actually taking the placebo and then they retested their performance. So all the red lines I've added onto this image show people who then decreased in performance when they realized that the increase was due to placebo effect. You will notice everyone who was told that their increases were from placebo decreased. Now, most of the people who were continue to believe that they were taking anabolic steroids maintained or improved performance, with a couple of exceptions. So basically, in national level weightlifters, thinking that you're taking an immediate acting steroid can improve performance immediately. And as soon as they realized that that performance was actually just due to placebo, they returned towards baseline. So basically, the summary is, everyone could be susceptible to the placebo effect. If someone is selling you a product and they say, trust me, bro, it works for me, it is fair to ask for research. Anecdotal evidence does not trump scientific research, especially when it is from a single person. Anyone can feel like something works for them, but this is why you do randomized control trials to test that hypothesis. So that's it, and I hope it's been helpful. Thank you.